Hello everyone, this is Pratiksha and today I am here to talk about Lunar Laser Ranging. What is Lunar Laser Ranging? Lunar Laser Ranging is the practice of measuring the distance between surfaces of Earth and Moon using laser ranging. The distances can be calculated from the round trip time of laser light pulses traveling at the speed of light which are reflected back to Earth by the Moon's surface or one of or by one of the five retro reflectors installed on the moon. It is also possible to reflect light or radio waves directly from the moon surface by a process called earth moon earth communication, but a much more precise measurement can be made using retro reflectors. Since because of their small size, the temporal spread in the reflected signal is much smaller. Laser ranging measurements can also be made with retro reflectors installed on moon orbiting satellites such as the LRO. So, basically, lunar lunar laser ranging. It is sending laser signals to the moon and when it reflects back to earth from its surface or the reflectors installed on the moon the, then we calculate the time taken for it to reach earth and so thus we do the laser ranging history of lunar laser ranging the first successful lunar ranging tests were carried out in 1962 when Louis Mullin and Giorgio Fiocco from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology succeeded in observing laser pulses reflected from the moon's surface using a laser with a 50G.5 millisecond pulse length. Then, a Princeton University graduate student, James Fowler, proposed placing optical reflectors on the moon to improve the accuracy of the measurements. Then, the installation of a reflector array took place by the crew of Apollo 11 1415 and the Soviet Lunokhod 12. This is how the lunar laser ranging started. As you can see in these pictures, the first picture depicts the Apollo 14 lunar lane ranging retro reflector which is installed on the moon by the Apollo 14 crew. And the next one is the lunar ra laser ranging experiment from the Apollo 11 mission. And the third picture shows us the image of the near side of the moon showing the location of the retro reflectors left on the surface by Apollo and Lunokhod missions. As we can see here, there are A14, A15, A11, L17 and L21 which depicts the Apollo and Lunokhod missions and their respective reflectors. And the next picture shows us the Apollo 15 ranging reflector. This picture shows us the Apollo collaboration photo pulse return times which is the reading taken by taken after the light has reflected back. And the next picture shows us the laser ranging at Goddard Space Flight Center. And the next one is the laser ranging facility at Wetzel Fundamental Station, Bavaria, Germany. The principle used in lunar laser ranging is the distance to the moon calculated approximately using the equation distance is equal to speed of light into duration of delay due to reflection divided by 2. Using this formula, we can calculate the distance to the moon and to compute the lunar distance precisely, many factors must be considered in addition to the round trip time of about 2.5 seconds. So the round trip time of the laser is at precisely about 2.5 seconds. And these factors include the location of the moon in the sky, the relative motion of Earth and the moon, Earth's rotation, lunar liberation, polar motion, weather, etc. Considering all these points, we'll take, we'll compute the lunar distance. The distance between Earth and Moon continuously changes for a number of reasons, but it averages to 3,85,000 
kilometer between the center of earth and the center of moon working the retro reflectors on the lunar surface are corner cubes which have the desirable property that they reflect light in precisely the opposite direction independent of the angle of incidence so the retro reflectors installed on the moon are basically cubes as we saw in the picture previously and they have the property which um, because of which they can reflect light in precisely the opposite direction uh, of the incidence angle or the incidence direction which is independent of the angle of incidence so laser pulses take between 2.3 and 2.6 seconds to complete the 385000 km journey the laser laser beam width expands from 7 mm on earth to several kilometers at the moon's surface and so even in the best conditions out of the 10 rise to 21 photons aimed at the reflector only one is received back on earth every few seconds so because of the changing of width of the laser from uh from earth to the moon as as the width increases when it reaches the moon only one out of the 10 to the power 21 photons actually strike the reflector which is placed on the moon and hence bounce back resulting in the uh, receiving of the photon on earth as of 2009 the distance to the moon can be measured with millimeter precision is is sent from earth laser beam is sent from earth it goes on to increase in width and hit the surface of the moon which only um, among which only one of the photons hit the reflector surface then it bounces back and using that we calculate the round trip of the laser um, and using which we calculate the distance from earth to moon that analysis the lunar laser ranging data is collected in order to extract numerical values for a number of parameters analyzing the range data involves dynamics terrestrial geophysics and lunar geophysics so from the data we collected we'll extract some numerical values for number of parameters and in analyzing this involves dynamics terrestrial geophysics and lunar geophysics the modeling problem involves two aspects the an accurate computation of the lunar orbit and lunar orientation and an accurate model for the entire time of flight from an observing station to a reflector and back to the station so to calculate the accurate model for the time of flight from an observing station to the reflector installed on the moon or back to the station results Lunar laser ranging measurement data is available from the Paris Observatory Lunar Lunar Analysis Center the International Laser Ranging Services archives and the active stations from these stations we will get the results from which we will calculate the distance some of the findings of this long term experiment are research findings the distance to the moon can be measured with millimeter precision as we saw earlier moon the distance from earth to moon can be measured in millimeter precision using this method the moon is spiraling away from earth at a rate of 3.8 cm year per year which means that the moon is moving away spirally from earth at a rate of 3.8 cm per year and this rate has been described as anonymously high the moon is likely having a liquid core from this experiment we can also find that the moon will likely have a liquid core and the newtonian gravitational constant g is stable to greater than 10 to the power minus 12 Einstein's theory of general relativity correctly explains the moon's orbit to within the accuracy of LLR measurements. Advantages of lunar laser ranging are millimeter precision measurements. We can time the round trip 
to a few picosecond precision or a few trillionths of a second also. The disadvantages are working with a powerful laser demands some attention to safety, which means that the harmful lasers can be harmful. The laser beam has to be very well collimated. The laser beam must be pointing precisely at the reflector which cannot be seen directly. So it's a blind pointing. And here are a list of few observatories. The table below presents a list of active and inactive lunar ranging stations on Earth, which are McDonald Observatory in Texas, US, Crimean Astrophysical Observatory in USSR, Cote d'Azur Observatory in Grasse, France, Hale Kerala Observatory in Hawaii, US, Matera Laser Ranging Observatory in Italy, Apache Point Observatory in New Mexico, US, Gotterdijk Observatory in Wetzel, Germany, Yunnan Astronomical Observatory in Kunming, China. And this is a cartoon depicting the lunar laser ranging, which shows the telescope or the projector from Earth and the moon and the receiving retro, retro reflected array on the moon. And these are the green one green lines are the pulses or the laser which is being sent to the moon and returning back. So this was about lunar laser ranging in brief. Thank you.